Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. Yes, Happy Easter to y'all. Um, this video might be posted today, I'm not quite sure. Um, it'll be posted within the week for sure, that's all I know. Um, it's just that we're really busy today on Easter and everything. But I want to inform you guys and let you know what we'll be cooking today. We'll be cooking a delicious prime rib. Yes, a six pound prime rib along with some vegetables and we'll have plenty of cocktails. So follow me through this video. It's going to be a good day guys. Have a good one. Red potatoes, golden brown potatoes. We got carrots, celery, and onions in here. It sure looks good. And then... Right here I have the clever cutter guys. If you haven't seen one of these, these work well for cutting vegetables. Matter of fact, I just picked some fresh vegetables out of our garden. Here's some onions that I'll be chopping up in here. So we get some nice fresh vegetables with our prime rib. Time to load all the vegetables into the tray here. Lots of vegetables. It's looking good. Look at all those colors. Nice looking color in this tray with all these delicious looking vegetables. Huge tray. This can feed a lot of people. But it's just going to be me and my wife tonight. Now I got the beautiful prime rib right here on the rack as you guys can see. Look at that, doesn't that look good? The next step what we are going to be doing is we will be injecting some beef broth into it as well. As you guys can see I got this, um, not the Norpro injector right here, this is just a freebie actually from the meat department. So we'll be injecting the prime rib with a little bit of beef broth to give it that extra ump of flavor. You don't need too much in here. Just every inch go along the piece of meat. And I'm running out of some beef broth, so let me add a little bit more to that. And of course, this is gonna have beef broth down below the vegetable department down below the rack here. And as you guys can see, I cut off a lot of that skin, a lot of that extra fat that this requires a little more time to cook because I want to cook this medium rare more on the rear side. That's the way we like it. You can always inject some right here too as well. And on the other side, the back side, get some of this beef broth in here. Now we got a couple different seasonings that we'll be putting on this. First we got the sea salt. You probably wonder why I got all the butter on it. Butter gives it an excellent flavor. Also what it does is it holds all these seasonings down to the piece of meat and sits on top. So that's about enough sea salt right there. Um, another thing I usually use, a lot of people don't use this, but it's applewood rub right here. It's great for smoking foods. It, it gives it like a really nice smoke texture, flavor, and it's not spicy at all. You can put a lot of that on there. It's not strong. And some rosemary leaves right here. You always gotta add some rosemary to your prime rib as well. So that should about do it. And we'll be popping this in the oven in no time from now. But first off, I wanna add a couple more things. You gotta always add a good beer your vegetable and prime rib and I got the 50 cal bottle opener right here 
if you guys are interested in these 50 cal bottle openers you can pick them up through me I got them for sale it's a pretty nice bottle opener as you guys can see right there so we'll be taking a sip of the Heineken first and adding some beer in here as well and a little bit up here not much because you don't want all your butter to fall off so that's good for there so a whole beer in the bottom and then you want to add a little bit of beef broth stock to this bottom as well and a little bit more on the top and you guys already saw me inject it so you know it's good to go put a little bit more of the beef broth in here so I just pulled the prime rib out of the oven it looks fabulous now let me tell you how I cooked this I cooked it on 500 degrees Fahrenheit five minutes per pound there's six pounds right here right babe mm -hmm. After cooking it for 30 minutes, all you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your oven and let it sit in your oven up to two hours. After two hours runs by, that's a total of two hours and 30 minutes, okay? You pull it out of your oven. I just checked it with the thermometer. The thermometer read 122. It's final, it's cooked. It's done, it looks fabulous. Now we're gonna take it over to the cutting board and cut into it. Beautiful, just beautiful. show you the inside check the inside out look at that now we're gonna um, cut this up guys I just wanted to show you the final end results on the prime rib we're gonna sit down and enjoy this but I want to wish you guys happy Easter again and I want to thank you for tuning into the channel you're watching survival mindset peace out